be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your drums hit harder in Logic Pro 10. All right. How to make them hit harder. Now, one of our other videos, we're talking about how you can mix your 808s. Now, I'm going to be giving you some tips on what you can do to make them smack. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really, boom, smack out of the mix. So, I'm going to let you hear the beat as is, and then I'm going to show you some tips, some things you can make to like your kick punch out and your 8 out punch out in your mix. Let's check out the beat. Cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about something very, very, very simple you can do. Um, a lot of times when I'm making beats in Logic Pro 10, <clears throat> I'm dragging, I'm dropping sounds into the quick sampler. OK, so, you know, I'm using third party elements like 808s, kicks, snares, hots, you know, all that type of stuff from other kits, my, my own kits and other producers kits. So if you're using that same process, dragging and dropping into like the quick sampler, a simple way to make your you know your beats or your drums bang is just to come over here in the quick sampler where you see amp and just push that volume up super simple and then on the 808 you can also go ahead and turn on this filter and you can play around with the drive and things like that super simple now i'll show you how drastic this is going to sound different Now, if you don't, if you forgot how it sounded before, let me just turn off the filter and then just hold down the option and click that back to zero dB. Now let's listen to it. Literally just with a few clicks within the quick sampler, changed up the whole dynamics of this beat. Just pull that, that knob all the way up Turn that filter on. I haven't even messed with the drive or anything yet. Let's check it out again. So you play with those settings on that. Same thing with this kick, really. I can come over here, drive that up, turn on that filter. compared to this. Super simple tip to make your, your drums hit harder in Logic Pro 10. Now, obviously I would want to go through here and remix everything, make sure that the uh, levels are right and all that, but that's going to be something that you can instantly do to make your you know tracks boom. Now, obviously, there's other plugins that you can put on here. Um, let's just go ahead and go over that. I mean, these are third party plugins or whatever. Now, you can come over here to this kick and grab something called Smack Attack. Um, it's a way, it's a plugin made by Waves or whatever. Um, so, for those who are new, that's one thing you can throw on your, your instruments and it will make it pop in the mix. without it let me make sure i don't have that other stuff on yeah let me turn that off then with that smack attack Throw that on the 808 too. So 
So you you have to play around with the settings on that plugin, but for the most part, that plugin can make your your beats bang as well. And then I'm also going to talk about this uh, other plugin called R Bass. Um, shout out to Superstar O. I actually uh, heard about R Bass through him, and I've been using it ever since, like for years, ever since I heard about this joint. But this joint is super hard. Um, and it's good for like your 808s, bass, instruments, and even kicks. So you can kind of play around with the frequency range right here. So you gotta play around with the settings on that, but that right there can really take your beats to the next level. I'll put it on the uh, kick too. Not so much on the kick, but like sometimes when you use the R bass with the, uh, you know what I'm saying, with the other plugin, with the uh, snap, uh, smack attack plugin, you know what I'm saying, you can have a good range here. But overall, man, like again, use going into the quick sampler, you know what I'm saying, playing around with the knobs on here, the filter, the volume, that's going to do a big, big amount on that. And then two, just really just leveling in your, um, getting the proper levels in your beat. So I can like drive this as well without any plugins, without doing anything, and it will sound better too. So let me just push the kick up. And then I can come over here afterwards and literally just take everything down to where it's not peaking. And then when it comes back to like mixing, right, mastering it, I can master the beat and it'll style right. But anyway, y'all, that's going to be uh, today's video. See today's tips on, you know, how you can, you can make your, you know, your beat smack, bang, hit harder, whatever. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you visit my website, beatmakingbasics.com. On that website, you can get a beat making master bundle that comes with every single course, sound kit. Uh, mix a template on our site or you can go and you know shop individually get you know just one one offs or whatever check it out though bro that's going to save you a lot of time it's going to help you improve your beats faster i mean you know we have you know literally a thousand videos plus on this channel that you can watch for free but when you get those uh courses and stuff like that it saves time so you don't have to you know saying look at all the different videos you could have everything dedicated to one subject and things like get a real thorough breakdown in those courses too but anyway y'all appreciate you watching appreciate you so we get subscribed to the channel appreciate everything you do and until next time i'm out